What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, Gibbing here today with another video for you and we are bringing back a little bit of hardcore domination and we're playing it on Stronghold. Hope you liked that little intro clip, that was my score streaks going absolutely ham. Well, I've been trying to do the uh, kill confirm challenge and I've actually got a really wicked game to show you and the, the thing that I think is really good about this gameplay is that I actually use the XR2 in the kill confirm gameplay. Um, and I don't do the challenge, but overall it's actually a really good game. I'm really liking the XR2 at the moment. So just quickly before we get going, just a little bit about the setup in this video. I'm using Seraph, I'm using Combat Focus as always. I am using the XR2. I, I forget what the name of the um, camo is that's on that, but it's the it's it's an absolute, it's a really nice camo actually. It's a nice new epic camo that I managed to pull. Um, I've got stock on it and I've got quick draw. Um, the perks that I'm running, tier 1, I'm running Overclock and I'm running Ghost, perk 2, I am running, um, let's make sure I get this right, I'm running Hardwired, yeah, that's right, and then perk 3 tier, I am running uh, Gung Ho and I am running Dead Silence. Now, for anybody that knows, this will be the setup that I use for the Kill Confirm challenge. And for whatever reason, it seems to work really well in this one. God only knows why. I ain't going to complain. But it was, like I said, it was. It just turns out to be a really, really good gameplay. Now, I've been trying to do the Kill Confirm Challenge for a little while. And um, I thought, oh, I just need a little bit of a quick change-up. So I go into a game of Hardcore Domination, and, and this is what happens. Score-wise, it's not my best today. Kills-wise, it's actually pretty good. Um, I think in the first half I got something like 26 and something. Um, 26 and 6 I think it is. But then in the second half I actually go, let me see, let me work this out, get my maths absolutely correct. 42 and 1 in the second half. Now I don't get anything magnanimous like, um, you know, Relentless or, or, or anything like that. This is where my score streaks absolutely put in work. And what this gameplay hopefully demonstrates is how if you actually concentrate on on where you're actually playing and how to lock an area down quite well it can serve you really really well now like I said I haven't played hardcore domination for absolutely ages and it's always the way whenever you're playing COD it's almost like it's your first game back playing something I don't know about anybody else but I always find that you tend to do really really well and <laughs> it's just a really good game I was just very pleased with this one. I mean, very, very close in the first half. I think it ends up, you'll see it in a second, it ends up being something like 100 to 98. So it was a really, really close first half. They had a couple of flags a couple of times, and then we had a couple of flags, and it kind of just went round and sort of round and round in, in roundabouts, really. But what you'll see in, in the second half as it starts off is, is that what they actually managed to do is they actually managed to trip cappers. The enemy team rushed B, like, really, really quick. And I'm not sure how it happened, but they literally got C and then got B straight away. They probably had a couple of people running straight to it. But what you're going to see is is the importance, well, what I think, of, of calling in your streaks at the right time to allow your teammates to be able to get the flags back and do quite well, which will be sort of, sort of kind of demonstrated in this. Now, I hang around this area here quite a lot because I can cover anybody running in from B. And then I can also cover the spawn at A when they spawn near um, uh, the vans at the back. And like I say, it just seems to serve me really, really well. Now, spoiler alert, I actually get my streaks in the second half twice, which serves me, again, serves me really, really well. I think I've said that about 15 times now. My wraith in this gameplay gets me something like... 24 or 27 kills in this gameplay which was just for me it was just absolutely mental how how it actually all turned out the way that it did but it was just an enjoyable second half but you're gonna see now my streaks just start to go absolutely mental and now because we have managed to pull my streaks out it gives us the opportunity because everybody then on the opposite team just then goes and stays inside but as you can see my score streaks go in for this bit here and then I managed to, to get these two guys that are trying to <laughs> not get killed by the raps. But um, it then allows us to take back practically all of the flags. And we literally have them trip capped for ages. And the thing that's annoying, if you're going for a high kill, you don't want to get it trip capped. But what you want to do is make sure that they've at least got one. So the score goes up a little bit lower and it just uh, allows you the opportunity to 
to just cause absolute mayhem as as is usually the case when you're doing this one but what you're going to see again now is me managing to get my st score streaks again um, and just stopping them from getting the flag which maybe technically I shouldn't have done because the score was going up quick but I was looking to try and get as much as I could do quickly uh, and get my score streaks out again which seemed to go really really well um, and you can see there Wraith coming back out again and I ain't gonna lie I camped the crap out of this bit here just waiting to get my hater up uh, and then get the, the rest of the kills so you can see my haters up now uh, and then I managed to take this one person out that's hiding behind the truck like that wraps come up and then we're ready to go again and that effectively is pretty much game once my um, uh, once my wraps come in again it was just a really fun enjoyable game wasn't thinking about it just went straight f for pure kills on it and just tried to do the best that I could do and it was funny because if you some people get annoyed because you're, oh, you're not playing the objective well technically I am because what I'm trying to do is slay out and make sure that nobody else can um, just to try and force the spawns as to where they are. As you can see in this game, I'm kind of quite high up on the spawns, just trying to make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to do. And the gameplay is going to come to an end literally within like the next 10 seconds because they just don't really stand a chance. My raps are putting in a lot of work, and as you can see, me just patrolling this area quite nicely. Wait for it. It's coming, and that's game. But yeah, so I just wanted to bring you the gameplay. I just thought it was really cool. Hopefully, you know, you do kind of enjoy it. Just to bring back the domination again. The domination effect to this gameplay. And I do really like Stronghold as a map as well. I kind of know the spawns quite well. But if you have enjoyed the gameplay, please don't forget to click the like button. If you are new to my channel, please also don't forget to subscribe. This has been OG Gibbon. Thank you so much for stopping by. And we will see you on the next one, guys. Peace!